Hello, you are watching Unipro Eugene podcast. Here we discuss the most popular topics introduced by our users and show the helpful ways of using Eugene, a free cross-platform genome analysis suite. As yet, we've been opening sequences, alignments and other data from the Eugene sample files. But Eugene also provides us a way to work with items located at remote databases available in the Internet. Let's see how it works. To begin with, click File and then Access Remote Database Global Program Menu Items. In the Appear dialog box we are prompted to select a database to refer to and to enter the desired resource ID of the resource to load. At this point six databases are available and their number will be increased in the next Eugene releases. Let's open a file from Protein Database or PDB first. The hint line, which is placed below the database pulldown, suggests the format of the identifier. For PDB it has two example IDs. Enter one of it. While the document is being loaded, the status line reports that the Load Remote Document and Open View task is running. Now the document is loaded and its view has been opened. The document contains 3D macromolecular structure data. Its view is represented at the 3D structure viewer area. Also, the document contains related sequences and annotations. We can see their list within open document at the current project view, as well as 3D structure data item. Let's open one more document from another database. We activate file, access remote database menu items, and this time select NCBI GeneBank database. We will open one really wide known gene, influenza A virus or H1N1. We could search the virus gene identifiers at the NCBI web page. Here they are. So, let's finally open H1N1 PB2 gene in Eugene. The gene bank file has been added to the project and its sequence view has been activated. Let's unfold the CDS annotation qualifiers. We see dbxref qualifier among them with a hyperlink value. The qualifier value is a reference to a database entry. If we click on it, we will browse the database entry corresponding to the qualifier annotation. That's all for today. Comment our videos and post requests to our forum if you would like to. Thank you for watching.